It's a brand new episode of NC Trends. Welcome, I am Shion Bankoli, Senior Advocate of Nonsense, Hashtag Bring Back Combis, and Christ Embassy are major topics generating conversations online across the African continent. Let's begin in Nigeria, where rapper Idris Abdukarim is trending for referring to Festus Keyamo as the Senior Advocate of Nonsense, a play on words on Senior Advocate of Nigeria, San. The singer-songwriter had earlier in April released the remix of his timeless 2004 classic Jaga Jaga, where he mentioned Keyamo. Now, the State Minister for Labor and Employment responded with accusations that the hip-hop icon Idris Abdukarim had resorted to blackmail after failing to extort money from him and other government officials. <laughs> he further backed his claims on social media, uploading screenshots of text message exchanges between himself and Idris Abdukarim. In a swift response now, Idris has released another track titled Jaga Jaga Otigete Disin Keyamo. Some of the comments online include at I am Polukemi's tweet that reads Idris mentioned Festus Keyamo name. He did show receipts. Ordinary mention though. Now, dude, don't release a whole track. Call him senior advocate of nonsense. <laughs> I'm so loving this drama, man. Moving on. At Visaya Shoyo on board tweeted, Hypocrites like Idris criticizing governments because they didn't get what they wanted from their friends in power or because of their alliance with the opposition and have mastered the art of disguising personal beef as public interest. One by one shall you be exposed. But Keyamo, we move away from that. Pengman tweeted, Idris Abdukarim really called Festus Keyamo senior advocate of nonsense in his new song. <laughs> Bro, I can't even lie, this song sounds good. Idris is really having a lot of fun with this. Keyamo done the kolomo kolomo. All right, that's that on senior advocate of nonsense. Moving swiftly away from that, Zimbabweans are calling for the return of passenger buses called Kombis, which was banned last year when the lockdown started. MDC Alliance President Nelson Chamisa said the government should lift the ban on Kombi operators, arguing that the Zimbabwe United Passenger Company, Zupco Monopoly, is not only illegal, but has rendered thousands of Zimbabwean youths jobless after they were forced to pack their combis. Using the hashtag Bring Back Combis, Bongo expressed agreements with the MDC Alliance President. At forever underscore ZW tweeted, public transport must be regulated strictly. Conditions of vehicles kept high and most importantly, public safety and accountability top priority. Combis endanger lives daily. Heat and runs are normal for them. They rank wherever, whenever. No other, just chaos. Good move by the governor. Moving swiftly away from that, Joseph tweeted in response to Nelson Chamisa, it's just colonial mentality banning the poor from operating business. Why not close all mines which damage the environment first before you ban combis, which cause less pollution? Finally, on Bring Back Combis, at Fanny Map Fumo tweeted, the regulator cannot be a player as well. In banning private transport, government is trying to monopolize the transport sector. Lastly, we'll take a trip to Ghana, where the police have served an investigation notice into the alleged breach of COVID-19 protocols at Christ Embassy Youth Church's pneumatic night. Videos and images from the events which held last Friday have surfaced online and it got many Ghanaians talking. We'll start with this tweet from at I am Slee, who says, Good. After this, let's arrest all the politicians for their rallies as well. No exceptions. At Travel with Co also tweeted, For the police to have any case in this matter, they should give us an answer to this question. The crowd that was gathered at Christ Embassy for the service on Friday night, how different was it from the crowd we saw during our political rallies over the December elections? Hmm. Finally on that, Ranjit tweeted, Please, arrest all of them and teach them a lesson. Because of this, someone's innocent grandmother in the village will catch COVID and die. You can still join the conversation. Tweet at New Central TV using any of the hashtags and let's know your thoughts. There you have it on this episode of NC Trends. Back to Sulai with the news.